Welcome back to Let's Cash More Mash. My name's Tom. And I'm Lincoln. And today we're cracking open a semi-new bottle of Whistle Pig Piggyback Bourbon Whiskey. I know. This bottle's been up on the shelf for a while. This bottle actually comes to us courtesy of super fan of the channel, Steve. This is his bottle. He lent it to us for a donation for a review. So thank you again, Steve, thank for you. that. So this is a six-year bourbon, which Pig, Whistle Pig mostly does rye. It's 100 proof. He got it for $39.99. Now, it was a little bit sketchy on this part, so take it with a grain of salt, but it's supposedly a combination of their whiskey and MGP's whiskey. It's the way I, the mash bill was undisclosed. Uh, Tells they, you nothing in that. Well, I, I, this is, this is again, I, the Google machine told me all this stuff, so you take it with a grain of I might have been on their website. I think I was, but I'm not 100% sure. Is and this, this is where I kept saying farm and beer. No. I, still are, I, I don't know why to just decide. Yeah. It's the only thing I figured out on it. No, I don't know. So this was a, we, this has been here for well over a month, so I did this research a long time ago, too. So it's supposed to have a super high corn mash and a dash of rye. Aged in a number three charred New American oak. I think this they launched this in back in 2022, I believe. So uh, that was probably one of the saddest cork pops I've ever heard. But so we're gonna give it a try and see. So again, this has been open for a good month, anyways. And uh, Steve and I have sampled it over the time over here. No. So I don't know if I'm 100% I'm correct in this. The only other bourbon we had was that really smoky one that was mixed in with uh, the uh, it was the Traeger. It was it, it, yeah, they yeah. did it with the Traeger smoke, and I, I yeah. want to say it's probably the same bourbon. You know what I mean? Oh, but I it's, it's going to be hard to tell smoke, because smoke this one, it, yeah, oh, that one. Yeah, like it's probably the same yeah. bourbonish, but that was with Traeger. Smoke that was pretty it. smoked. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely you definitely smoked that smoking out and tasted. Oh yeah. Just on the initial crack, it, it's not diving out of the glass like no. the well one. No, no, no. You know, you get. That's a, why I took a quick sip because it was like it wasn't really doing anything. So you get a light, light, like, like I can't even really say a caramel. I know it's more ethanol, like nose, but the taste. Maybe with a tiny bit of vanilla. You could, maybe you a little a, brown sugar. Like it's just I'm a going, barely, it, barely. It, you pull it. You have to super light my imagination. Oh, yeah. Eye drop. But flavor and taste. It, it, for a hundred proof, it actually went down nicely. Now, initial sip, taste-wise, is far superior than with the nose bunch. Mm. No, you definitely get a nice flavor going mm -hmm. in. And uh, I, I don't mind it. No, I, I didn't think you'd have a problem. Obviously, neither did he and I when we, when we would throw it in for a, a random sample. What I remember of it. And we'll find out in a minute. I, I do believe it's one of them, as it sits on a glass, it just well, that's kind of better. Yeah, I will say flavor-wise, I mean, you're definitely getting that 100 proof in No, you do. And, uh, it, Which is nice. It's it has... for the six years. I do believe at the very tail end, you get a little bit of an old finish where, where, it, where it came through. Not extremely on that, though. I don't get extreme on that. The nose still really isn't coming around yet, though. Not a lot into it. You let it sit on your tongue, though. It, it, it gets a nice caramel in the middle. Like, it's, it maintains its flavor, but it, it got a nice, like, sweetness in the middle of that. And then as you swallow it, that's where that, it kind of changes a little bit. And it gives you a little bit of that old finish yeah, in the end. it holds on a little. Right. No, the, yeah, for, for it's for, I mean, for a light rye, it has, it has a pretty decent sparkle. You switch it that's, around. yeah, that's what they said. That's right. right. You know, I, again, I don't know the mash bill. It was undisclosed. I'm not 100% sure it is MGP in them. For some reason, I thought Whistlepig, for some reason, because it's out of Vermont, Whistlepig right. itself, but I thought they used Canadian whiskey. I thought at some point you did say that. So, I, I, you know, maybe that's just their rye, but for some reason, I thought they used Canadian whiskey, and whatever, whatever one I went on, 
it said a combination of their whiskey and MGP. And I don't know if they're actually brewing at that distillery or not. Um, but, again, take the facts it, of that it, it, with it a grain weird. of salt. Yeah, it was but, weird. It didn't say it on the bottle. And I, I, whatever site I was on disclosed that. And I was like, geez, I really thought they used Canadian whiskey. But... See, as it's sitting in the glass, though, it is definitely caramel. Huh? That says Vermont. Or is that New York? Well, I know they're in Vermont. Well, I don't know, but I, I believe the very bottom one. I believe they're in Vermont. So that says bottled in Vermont, Kentucky. It's distilled in Vermont, Kentucky, and Indiana. Bottled by Whistlepig Company. Oh, that actually says New York. Yeah, Mineville, New York. I could have sworn it said New York. And Mineville, New but York. But I know, yeah, I thought for sure they were in Vermont. They were at one point, because I, I know the bourbon junkies went there way, way back when I was watching. But, uh, all right, so it has something out of Vermont. So it is some of their distillate. Distillate, sorry. I can say I can say words. Mm. This is my first drink besides <laughs> Kentucky and Indiana. So maybe their bourbon comes out of that. Maybe they were getting their rye from Canada. Or maybe I'm 100% wrong about the Canadian. I remember you saying it, it, it did come out, yeah. originally come out of Canada, and then they tweaked it from there. I will say their nose just get. It, I, it is, it is coming out. out. It is. It, it really is. Like it's it's forming a batter. You're getting mm -hmm. now. You're getting that brown sugar in the, but Remember, I said it was light. Yeah. Now it's thickening up. Like you're starting to make the a, nose. A zucchini. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, nose yeah. especially. Yeah. I, I'm I'm not disappointed. And I know we've kind of ragged on the rye. Well, I have because I'm not the ultimate rye guy. But and that smoked one was a rough. That was a, that was a heavy smoke. No, it, it was. You definitely knew it was a Traeger. Like it was bringing me to a steak. <laughs> that, that, like it, it was it, like it was bringing me. It was like, almost it, like it was that running. cooking thing that Jimmy had us try. Right. right. Right, right. That's exactly what it was. It was like a campfire smoke yeah. blowing in your glass. I will say, off of recent ones we've done, like like the, the the palate maintains and almost enhances. To me, when it sits on your tongue in the middle and it brings that little caramel flavor along with the regular brown sugar, it's, I I I I actually for thirty nine ninety nine, I, I would buy this. I actually like this. I, I don't I'm, mind this at no, all. I, I'm I'm kind of with you. You know what I mean? It's not. I mean, it's six year. I'm gonna say that was what I was gonna get. Hundred proof, six year. I mean, no offense, whistle pig, but you can't even get a six year ride for that. No, you know what I mean. Their yeah, rides are crazy expensive. Yeah, they are expensive. So, uh, to me, this is this this is almost you have to buy it because it's the it's the only cheap thing they sell. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and I think it's worth the money. No, I I, I agree. I, I mean, I don't find it. There is nothing about this that and tastes. It's, and it has, it's a different, unique bottle. You know, so I, I'm. You know, if you're having a collection, it would be something different out there. No, not, I, I do. It's not it's, the same one. Like the hot shape like, looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It is a different size, and it, it stands out. It got the big old six on it to, to grab your eye. I'm looking through, you get the WP. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I I do like it. The more it sits on the glass, the better it keeps getting. And, I I, and I'll attribute it to. Like one that we recently just did, where where when you left the willet on your tongue, it started getting like grassy and weird. Like this one doesn't do that. No, you know no. what I mean? They, we're, we're talking around the same price range. Yeah. Well, actually, I guess the willet's like sixty because someone else got it for sixty. But you're in the same price range. I take this well over that. You know what I mean? Like this definitely brings a lot more flavor and taste than uh, I actually for the for the price. And if you look at the something different, you know this is right there. I mean, don't get me wrong. It, it, yes, if we took Old Forester 100 and stuck it up against it, would it beat it? Maybe, but this one actually is Maybe. decent. No, it is decent. It, it, you know what I mean? It actually has a nice flavor. It's and for the hundred proof, it's it's an easier drinker than like you're gonna say your go tos, which it, it is. Mm -hmm. It's easier. You you know it's there, but it's not snap crackle pop the whole mm -hmm. way down. It's not as bad. See, you say that. I, I don't think anyone. To me, this 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 to me. Is an easy drinker. You always say it, it's harsh. I, I find it nutty, but delicious. I don't think it, I always think it drinks softer than what it is. You always think it drinks hot. I think you put this up against like Wild Turkey 101, and this is gonna drink like a kitten compared to it. You know what I mean? But you always think it drinks hot. Well, I did do that actually at the house, and yeah. it did come in more a little milder. It, it, yeah, because you used to tell me all the time it was it was harsher. But to me, I think it drinks soft. I, I actually like it. I don't think it's this soft. I think this one might beat it. This, this, I, although it is very good. I mean, that that's one again, thing. It's three to one, but uh, two to one. You could buy many of that. that I mean, that's, that again, that goes back to on its own for 40 bucks. I think it's, I think it's decently priced. It is a six year bourbon for $40. Can you find cheaper ones, especially if you don't Absolutely. live in Massachusetts? Would I go get a JW Dant for $8 or $17? 
100, that's a still 100 proof. Wow. You know what I mean? Like any one of them that we could get that we can't get here, even an old granddad, you know what I mean? It, it's still cheaper. They're all cheaper. So yes, I would do that, me personally, but if, if, if you want to dip your toes into a whistle pig, this one is, is a very good one. I and agree. it's not high priced like a lot of no, the other no. ones. No, it's, it's worth trying. Definitely worth trying. And, and it does keep getting better and better. It does. Class. I know what he's going to say over there. He's going to be like, doing one of these. But this, no. this, this, is, this is an awful lot also. I know. That's why I'm sitting here looking. Normally, I would But because uh, this one's going to be a super short one then. But we can do that. Uh, overall... I don't want to do it in injustice though, because it is decent. No, oh, but I, I would, uh, that would get it and try it. This would be one if it is one of ours, which it isn't. I'd like to see how it fares in a blind. No, you know right. what I mean? Because I want to see in if, it, if it, in the hundred proofers where it would step up. You know what I mean? Or fall back. Mm -hmm. You know, because then you truly know right. how it would attest to mm -hmm. the other ones that were going on. But uh, unfortunately, it's not on bottle, so it's not going to go in there. I will put it in there and see how we, if we do it, pick it up. I but see it is. Though. I don't see us stabbing this one and nailing it because there's nothing really distinctive about no. the. It tastes like a it'll it'll shock regular. us in a blind, you know, coming back because the nose did jump up. But like it was nothing in the beginning. I right, guess. but it's gonna be hard to pinpoint this one out of out of all the other bourbons that we've had. It's for traditional taste. It, it is. You know what I mean? It is. I don't think it'd be like there's nothing that you're like. Ooh, I taste this weird thing, so I can remember it's that. Even when we get the weird ones, well, that's we, what I'm we saying. Forget about it, but. right? Or sometimes they totally change, like that one that that Corsix one that totally gave me a flavor I never tried before, and I haven't gone back to that one and tried it. Again. And I met to today, and I forgot. But now, so well, there you go. We'll keep this one short and sweet then, uh, since we'll have a long one tomorrow because it's a blind fight Friday. So, uh, whistle pig piggyback again for for the forty bucks. Buy it if you want. I, I, it really does fit in the category of all that, like Ezra 99 and all the other ones. But, it's, but a softer drink, but they're all cheaper. Right. You know what I mean? So it's one of them, which, you know, which it's, one do you it's like? It's got better? the mildness a little bit more, I think. Yeah. Those, but. That's what I mean. Yeah. They, they were a little rougher. The nose but this is, is a little more expensive. Around. No, it, it, I think it's very good for what it is. Mm. So, well, there you go. That being said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Spend less. Drink more cheese. Subscribe.